everyone! This past week I've been working on decorating my diorama. I recently acquired some small wooden shelves from Target that look really nice in the room. As I looked at my own house, I realized I have a lot of storage boxes that I have set into my bookshelves, so I figured my dolls would do the same. I searched online for some time, but I couldn't seem to find any boxes for the size or color that I wanted. The closest were these party favor boxes, but I did need 50 of them. The shelf is just shy of 3 inches, or about 7.5 centimeters deep. Since I've been cutting my own shipping boxes lately, I thought, why not craft my own custom storage boxes as well? I had bought some cardstock scrapbooking paper several years ago, and they seemed to be a good option for my storage boxes. These only had a texture on one side, but I'm sure some double-sided paper would be cute as well in this application. My first step is to draw the fold and cut the lines of the box. I'm planning on making a box with a lid, so I only need to account for the sides and the bottom of the box. Since my box is essentially a cube, the measurements are really straightforward. I draw the markers at just shy of 3 inches. Since this is a 12 inch piece of paper, I am left with just a little excess, which is perfect because I will be using it as a tab to glue the box together. To create the bottom, we need to extend the top line by half the length of the sides, since the two flaps will fold together to create the bottom. So the piece I end up with is just shy of 4.5 inches by 12 inches. I have some special tools for paper crafting because it came in a bundle with my Cricut machine, but you could easily do this with just scissors. I really only use the blade to cut the long side. Once the piece is cut, I start scoring the lines where I would fold or cut it. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can just use a butter knife or something with a blunt point, or just use a ruler to help you fold. I remove the smallest rectangle since I don't need it to construct the box. Then I cut the bottom flaps apart so that they can be folded over to create the bottom. I go ahead and fold all the score lines, and we can see the box starting to take shape. Scoring the paper makes it really easy to have clean, sharp folds. I use erasable ink to draw my lines, so I started erasing lines, but then I decided I'll just hit it with a hairdryer or something if it really bothers me. It's going to be on the inside of the box anyway. I 
I glue the tab to one end of the other side to assemble the box using some sewing clips to help gently hold the glue in place. I set the box aside to allow the glue to set and work on creating the lid. I want the lips of the lid to be about half an inch, but feel free to make yours this longer if it's more your aesthetic. I would caution going shorter because the lid tends to flare out and not hold its shape if you go any smaller. So whatever length you decide, add twice that to the amount of the box's dimension, which for me is a 4x4 four four inch square. I score four lines half an inch from the edge all the way around. The center square should be the size of your box. I snip into one of the score lines on each of the sides. These tiny squares on the end become the tabs that you will glue to create the lid. I use clips to hold them in place and then I move back to finishing the bottom of the box. You could finish the bottom of this box by nesting it in a pinwheel fashion, but I opted to use glue instead. Take the two opposite flaps and put the glue on the outside. Fold them in and use the other two flaps to cover and press the bottom together. You can put a dense, heavy object in the box to help press the glue down. Then you're basically done. I made two in this session and it took me about 30 minutes. So I don't know if this is something I would make if it were for a wedding party favor, but for a few boxes in my dioramas bookshelf, as well as utilizing years old scrapbook paper, is a win in my book.
Anyway, that's all for me this week. I hope you have a great one. Bye!